I think on both parts, we both had a lot of mistakes taking place. He was hit, uh, he was hitting me with his elbows. I took a lot of them. I took, I believe it was 16 or 17, maybe 19 if I don't recall too well. It's been a little bit. Watch. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I don't want to see the replay again. It kind of hurts, you know. <laughs> but uh, regardless, doing that, I mean, for what I did was, I kept telling Cortez, "Hey, Cortez, elbow, elbow, keep fighting Ortiz, keep fighting Ortiz." Hit me on the bottom. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm trying, but then it started hurting me to the point where it felt like I'm seeing double out of one eye. I think that's your retina. I think that's your retina when that's happening. So now this side was starting to swell. It wasn't from the punch, man. <laughs> and I went back in, and I'm, you know, I'm starting to catch him. So third and fourth, I start pressuring forward, and he has this look in his eyes like, oh, I've never like been hit like this before. What, what's going on? <laughs> so he was, he was going back uncomfortably. He wasn't going back on his terms. He was mm -hmm. going back like, oh, man, this guy's making me go back. So I'm coming forward, coming forward. And uh, I got him against the ropes, I remember. And then that whole little, you know, that little thing he the, does. The defense, the lean back with the that, elbows. That, that defense don't work for me. I'm, right. I'm left-handed. So everything he does like this is coming in, boom, boom, just catching him. <laughs> <laughs> and then out of nowhere, he throws that elbow, boom. And I just remember that. It felt like he ripped my retina, like tore my retina. But hey, at the end of the day, he, he did it, got away with it. I think what I did was wrong. I headbutted. I should not have listened to my corner. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, you know. Past history, I ended up paying ugly. If you make any mistakes, you have to pay. If you make any mistakes, you have to pay. What was that? Across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with gold trim, a hand from Las Vegas, Nevada. He weighed in at a trim of 149 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his remarkable 20 year campaign to the ring with a record of 49 wins, no losses, 26 wins coming by way of knockout. A veteran of 26 world title appearances. Tonight he makes his return to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome boxing's future Hall of Famer and undisputed top attraction. Here is the former five division champion of the world introducing the sensational and undefeated Floyd Money. Let's get into it. Mayweather's lead hand play in the open stance is very calculated. Mayweather plays touch with the lead hand while sneaking his feet into inside position seemingly without notice. Look how Ortiz's feet become square pointed in the same exact direction. Now with inside foot position which is more suitable for a jab in the open stance, as soon as Ortiz extends to meet Floyd's pawing jab, Floyd shoots a jab in between the guard. Here Floyd catches Ortiz times three, leaning his weight over his front foot with no plan. Floyd likes to check hook in the open stance when he's avoiding the ropes, but he prefers the step check over the traditional check pivot. One of the main reasons I showed this fight in the series is to show you Floyd cutting off the ring. Again, you have to be able to do it all if you're the best skilled. Floyd cuts off the ring with no wasted movement, 
No real effort tracking down his opponent. I thought Ortiz said he backed Floyd up. Contrary to Ortiz's fantasy, the Philly Shell can indeed work versus southpaws with slight adjustments like raising the elbow for jabs and standing bladed or linear to the opponent minimizing the target for a two. In fact, Floyd does his best work at the Philly Shell in this fight. Perfect example of not knowing how to cut off the ring and just letting your op slide off the ropes. Floyd is another one of those special fighters that has no problem landing the two with inside foot position in an open stance. What he actually does is he times or is triggered off the outside step of his opponent and launches his two. The mechanics of his bladed Philly shell allow him to twist his body and change the trajectory of the cross to meet the offline opponent's head. Something like a golfer's swing. a great defensive fighter but then when you add power to it you get this from Mayweather 16 for 29 in the power department of the fight here. Now watch the head. He's doing well. Up. And then the left head. A deliberate headbutt. So now 
He goes for the apology. Floyd says, fine. They go for the embrace. Referee Joe Cortez is not there. Boom. Left hook, right hand. Right hand. Yeah. You don't hang out in the kill zone with Floyd Mayweather. Now, this is going to be controversial, and it shouldn't be. you got to protect yeah, okay. yourself at all times. That took him out of it, and that finished. He's looking over at the referee. You, you, you heard him. You never give me a fair shake. HBO needs to fire you. You don't know shit about boxing. You ain't shit. You're, you're not shit. I wish I was 50 years younger you and I'd kick your ass. You won't do shit. <laughs> <laughs>